Here's the point, how to pick a wig for a man, okay? Well, it depends on, you know, where you lost your hair, what kind of hair you lost, and what you want. So essentially, I already know what you want as a man if you lost your hair and you want to have hair again and you want to get a wig, you don't want people to notice that you have a wig, okay? So first thing that you have to get over if you are choosing a wig as a man is that people will notice on the first day that you get a wig, maybe second day, and then because everyone lives their own lives, they forget, okay? And then you wear your wig all the time, everybody forgets that you have a wig and they get over it. And you have about a day of awkwardness, there's no way around it. Um, and, then, and then after that, you're good to go and you can live your life with hair. I recommend that and I did that before when I was on pilot training. I wore, the first time I showed up to pilot training with this uh, fake hair on, people were all laughing and whatever, and making jokes, and then they forgot about it because I wore it all the time and they had their own lives and flight training to do. First things, get over that. Realize that it'll only be temporary, the awkwardness. After that, you need to get a wig that makes you uh, your hair look real or that looks real on you, okay? If you're in the military like I was, then, you know, a wig costs like 500 bucks to maybe a couple thousand. It sucks, costs money, but it's worth it in my opinion. I wore one for about five years. I have some hair growing back on top right now and I use some thickening fibers, so I kind of essentially make it look like I want to have a mohawk right now. Because wigs are a little uncomfortable sometimes, just like uh, they're hot and a little itchy. So I prefer not to wear one if I don't have to. Anyways. If you are going to go for the wig, and I would wear a wig if I didn't have any hair, and I still wear a long hair wig sometimes for fun, if I want to feel more confident or whatever, or like, you know, having more hair. Okay, uh, if you need a short hairstyle for work, it can be done. I was in the military, I had a short military haircut with long hair on top, okay? That's, it can be done, and they'll style it for you at the salons, okay? So that's doable. If you don't have a rigorous hair standard for work, you can get just a shaggy, shaggy hairstyle, like a longer hair wig, even like quite hair, long hair, or shaggy. And uh, then it's certainly uh, very easy to get away with the fact that you don't have hair. People won't even notice. Uh, if you have a part somewhere, you can get the wig side parted uh, wherever you want to make it look more real as well. I'd say don't get the hairs uh, too thick though, because then they have to thin them in the salon. It takes forever and it might look like a little much on your head. All right, um, so those are the points. I mean, if you want, if you want a wig, you can do it as a man. Um, if you have no hair, that's, that's kind of the angle I'm coming from. If you have some hair, okay, if you have hair on the side of your head, but not on the top, like male pattern baldness type thing, um, you can certainly just get a toupee, uh, shave the top of your hair, it'll glue on, get it cut in, and it'll look like you have hair for like, you know, at least I think those things will last a couple months and they can be on all the time. I'd cer certainly do that if I had hair on the side. Or if you're like me, I have no hair on the side or very little, so I shave it on the side, and then on top, it's more rare, but then it looks like I have mohawk, and then I just style it and then I put some hair thickening fibers to sprinkle them in to make it look like I have thicker hair as well. So these are options as well for thicker hair. And then obviously, um, if you don't have any brows, you can wear temporary eyebrow tattoos or stickers, transfers, whatever people call them, um, to look like you have fake eyebrows as well. They're waterproof, last a couple days. From my two brows, I wear the everyday brow, size extra large. See ya! If you lost your brows and you want a realistic looking solution that's super easy and simple to apply, click the link in the description, go to mytwobrows.com and get your free sample pack to be able to figure out which brow looks best on your face in one of the five sizes, five styles, and 11 colors we carry.